Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to house number four, part two of season one. So in part one, we got around this far. So we have a lot of the front made besides the roof, uh, but that's actually what we're gonna try to work on a little bit here. So what we're gonna do, we are going to come up here to the, right above the front door, right here. And we are going to use uh, stone for this actually. We're not gonna be using blue wool or anything, or the light blue wool. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start right here because we actually wanna continue this overhang. So we're actually gonna continue the overhang so everything should be like right. Oh, so we need to move this over one block. So that's basically the best way to notice this. And basically, you're just making a stair step coming all the way over to the other roof. Yes, it will be taller, that's not a problem. Now, once you get to the very top, just start coming back down, just like this, okay? Now, when you get to here, you can basically stop. You don't have to continue going, because basically from that point on, you're not gonna see the roof. So, what you're gonna do now is, with the stair step, just put your cobblestone stair, no, excuse me, your cobblestone stairs here, and just come back down, and I, all right, I'm taking out, uh, we'll get rid of the fences for now. I need to take out, oh my god, no. Oops. Uh, that's not good. I just got rid of everything in my inventory. Oh, goodness gracious. Alright, so we needed sand, this. Uh, what else did we have? Uh, we needed cobblestone stairs, which are here. I think we're mainly good. Uh, sorry about that, guys. It completely hit X in the inventory by accident. Alright, but anyways, what we're gonna do, just add your outline stairs here now. It's coming up. Doot and upside down with a quart slab on top. And then when you get to this one here, what you're gonna do, you're actually gonna get rid of that block and replace it with a upside down. And basically all you're gonna do now is just add your upside down stairs. Now when you get to this block right here, we don't like how you can see it trans, uh, like how it transfers from the light blue to the stone like that. So we're gonna do this last block instead of a upside down stair, you're going to add a full block and then just have a regular stair come over and connect with the side. Now, as you can see, that makes it look a lot better because the transition's a lot smoother and doesn't look like it's on the same plane either. So that's what we're going for, and I think that fixes everything perfectly. So next, we need to come over here to the left side. Now, the left side is actually really simple. We are gonna extend out the garage a little bit. So let's take out our stone, which, here we go. I think I got all my materials back. We want the garage to be around 14 blocks long. So, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, okay? Now when you get to 15, we can basically stop here for now, or you can actually turn it back if you want. So we're gonna turn it, and we're gonna make it where it starts like right here where the garage actually ends. Okay, now what you're gonna do, you're gonna be using your light blue wool, which we need to take out, which is, that's, here we go. Okay, and you're just gonna make this into a solid wall. Now, when you get to the corner, we're gonna do the whole quartz stairs thing again, so you can kind of leave that blank for now, which if you don't know what the quartz stairs thing is, it's basically what we did here with the stairs to make it look a little bit better and give it more design and eye-catching features. So, we're just gonna come all the way over and stop it right here. So, we can even come over and connect these if you want. Not really necessary, but okay. Now, right here, you might notice that it looks like we're gonna turn this. We're actually not. The way this roof is gonna work, it's just like all the other roofs we're gonna do. We're gonna come over here and add our stair step design, just like, or our corner stairs, excuse me. Now, what you're gonna do is basically remake what we did over here, over here. So the roof starts here, right? So now, what we need to do is we need to add our cyan wool, basically just coming up together. So we're basically adding our stair step design. So this isn't gonna be a roof that turns, it's going to be a pointy roof, kind of like, basically like one of these here. Uh, just, it will be a little bit bigger, obviously, because it's a bigger wall, but that's not that big of a deal because everything actually will work out perfectly. So let's go and add our upside down stairs here, or our stone stairs, excuse me. So really simple, this shouldn't take too long. And the reason we're making this a uh, roof like this and not like a corner to where, it, where it comes to a perfect point and like where we turn it completely is because I think this would look better with the house and how everything else is looking around it and because I don't think also if we did that I feel like it might actually be too tall to where this 
kind of sticks with the theme of the house so far. Make sure we come in and add our upside downstairs in here. Okay, come back down. Whoop. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm, I'm getting all the wrong blocks. And come back down. Okay, so we're not fully done yet. Because one thing you can kind of see, it's not that big of a deal. But we could just take our slabs here and actually have them come all the way across if we wanted to. Like this. Which, it doesn't look bad, but that I feel like that's too much. And what we could do is kind of just like separate them a little bit. So what if we did it to where like this one is two. So it comes out three blocks basically from the corner. And do the same thing with this one. Now that looks a little bit better. It's, yes, it's still a very big wall, but it's the garage. The garage is supposed to be pretty big. And that's kind of like what we're going for here. So basically now we can uh, connect what we have with all these roofs together. And everything should flow very, very smoothly from one piece to the next. And just turn this one. Do, 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 do. And perfect. Everything worked out perfectly there. Okay, so we're looking pretty good so far. Let's see how everything is actually looking. If we're looking good, and I think we are. I'm liking how everything is turning out. Uh, so let's see, what should we do now? Uh, let's come over to the right side and start expanding the right. So the right side, really simple. It's not really gonna be that much. You're just gonna continue with your stone on the bottom. Now, before I even start counting or moving, let's count. We're gonna move this back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 blocks, okay? So yeah, it does seem like a lot, but it's actually not too much. It's what? One, two, three, four, five. It's around five blocks in front, which is actually kind of what we want. So let's make sure we have everything in line. So we started here on the second block, right? With our garage. And so we need to end it right here. So the garage should end right there. Ah, thing done. Now just take your light blue and we can make this into a solid wall as well. Now we can add some windows in here for the garage and we actually will add a back door and a couple windows. But for now, I think it's just fine the way it is. And let's just continue making this into a solid wall. Ugh, goodness gracious. I hate when you have the soda and you have the hiccups. Okay, so we're looking pretty good so far, but now let's, before we even add any windows, we're going to start coming over here and we are going to add a sand wall. Now the sand wall, it can be, it's not tricky by any means. It's just placing like any other block, but unfortunately you can't just place it like any other block to where it floats up in the air. So we're just going to have to do this the long way and this will come all the way up. Now we might not have a window at all on this wall. But we can always add one if we really need to, which, again, I've said this in so many of the other houses, like until house one, you don't really need too many windows on the side of a house because it, usually the side of the house is where everything goes, like your living room, stuff like that. And also, you don't want people looking into your house most of the time because that kind of like invades your privacy, you know? Okay, so we have that solid wall now, right? Now, one thing I just realized on this 15th block or however long we came back, we need to add the court stairs here, our corner stairs. So getting rid of this. So just come up here and just do, 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 do. Add your corner stairs. There we go. Okay. So let's start expanding this over with our stone again. Man, I keep getting rid of all the wrong materials out of my inventory. So we're going to have this come all the way over until we get to, uh, let's see, right here. Then we're just going to turn it and connect the two. So as you can see, the back doesn't have as much design as the front. It's still really simple, but I think we're going to get the job done with it. Okay, so let's take our sand back out and the sand. We're going to stack this up all the way. Do, do, do. Okay, and now we're going to have another three uh, by three window here. So let me take some more night vision because that's running out. There we go. And there we go. Okay, what was I doing? Sand. So another three by three window. So one, two, three. So on the fourth block, we're gonna have the upside down stairs like we've been doing. Uh, let's get rid of the light blue for now. Now we actually might add a little bit more design to the back to incorporate more of the light blue and the sand together. 
But just for now, we might just stick with this for simpleness. Okay, now the rest of this, we can actually stack this up if we want, or we could actually add another window here. I think we should add another window. So, same design, you guys might have guessed it, the 3x3 three three with your, uh, what are those called? The fences here in the middle. Okay, so we have that. Let's take out our glass and let's just fill everything in. So, just like this. Oh, we don't need that one there. And do the same thing with this window. Now, again, you might notice that I'm not putting anything around the windows yet. And reason for that is because we, we're going to be doing that on the interior. We're going to be adding different colored walls and stuff like that. Jack, move. No, get down. Get down. Really, you knock everything off. Ugh. Why are cats such a pain in the butt? Okay. So, what I'm kind of thinking is, what if we added one more window here? Just like this one, right? Uh, or maybe we add a back door here. Let's add the back door right here now. So we're gonna make it too wide, like this. Uh, yeah, let's actually, yeah, I like that. Then we're gonna come one block back with our glass. And we're gonna stack up the glass. One, two, three. Just like all of our other windows or doors. And this come down and around with a glass frame, just like that. Now, right above the glass, what you're gonna do is you're going to, where's my sand? There it is. We're going to use our court stairs and have it come over and across, and then meet with another sand pillar. Do, 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 do. And this one will come all the way up as well. And then we can kinda just make this into a solid wall. And right above this window, we can add another three by three. So everything actually worked out perfectly. And then again, court stairs coming across. Now here's why I want to add a light blue uh, piece, like to kind of separate from the flat wall. So what if we have a piece come out by two, we stack it all the way up, just like this. And it really doesn't even have to stack all the way up either, but I think we should. And it will just be a really simple window. And we're gonna have the corner pieces again. I keep forgetting about those for some reason. Okay, so let's add our corner piece. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, that's slabs. Ah, uh, I should probably get rid of the slides. We haven't really used them that much. Okay, so that's our corner. Let's have the cyan come all the way up, or the light blue, excuse me. Okay, so we're gonna have another three by three. Do 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 do. All right, so the three by three. Oh, we need to have our stone start underneath. All right, let's get rid of the slab. We're not using the quartz slab too much. So we're gonna get rid of that out of our inventory. So again, we forgot our stone at the bottom, which is actually kind of important to keep with the theme of the house. Okay, so now we have that. Now everything will, should be even, at least. So all we do is we're gonna take, do, 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 what was I thinking? Oh yeah, three by three, by three window. So we're gonna have just everything right here. Perfect, one, two, and three, there we go. Do the same thing up here now. Make sure all the windows are even with each other. One, two, three, with your Corsairs coming over and connecting. Okay, so I like what this wall does. It adds that extra piece of blue to the back to match with the rest of the house. Let's add our corner stairs there again. And then from here, we can basically just have it come back and connect. Oh, you make sure, I'm using all the wrong materials. Make sure you use your light blue for this to continue. Let's have it come back. Now, when you get to right here, we can actually get rid of this block and we're gonna use our sand from here on out. So the rest of this will just be a solid sand wall, just like this. Do, 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 do. Actually, huh, that's kind of interesting. We have to figure out what we wanna do because the wall coming over and connecting is actually blue. So that actually, we might've just done this perfectly. So instead of using sand, let's use the light blue for this. And reason for that is because we just made this light blue piece, so everything actually might flow smoothly with this. So perfect, do, do, do. And basically all we're doing is extending this up. And this will be a solid wall, stacking all the way up, do, 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 bop, bop, bop. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm not sure which house is my favorite out of all the four so far. I like number two a lot. Number three was a great small house. 
And I think I also like number, uh, uh, I think it's number two. Yeah, number two a lot. Also because you can actually make it on survival pretty easily because it's only sandstone. So like with this house, yeah, you could get the sand really easily, but the cyan, maybe not so easy. So, or the light blue. I always make that problem or mistake. Okay, so it looks like we have everything put together nice and smoothly. Now, oh, we forgot a layer here. Now, when we get to this corner, we need to do actually our corner stair again to continue with the theme of the house. Do, do, oh, uh, do, 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 do. Perfect. Now, it's in order, we just have to fix that. Perfect. Now, we are fully set. Now, we could add corner stairs here as well, which I think we should to continue with the theme. I've said that so many times, but when you have a theme for a house or just anything, you want to stick to it. All right, and here is our house. I actually like it a lot. Now, for a window for the garage, how about we just make it three blocks away from the corner here, maybe four, and we'll make it another three by three, so nice and simple. Just continue, doot, and let's add our pillars in here. Perfect, and then the door, we could even just do it something like this. I'm not, I'm not really counting like where I'm putting the door because it's not really too important, it's just a door. And we'll maybe use even sand for this. What we can do is put, because maybe for like for the garage, we'll just use like stone slabs, which are here. Which actually keep out your stone slabs. We actually might use these for the front porch. What we're gonna do is just, is this a full block? Because it needs to be, yep. We're just gonna put a door here, which we're gonna put a wooden door. Boom, just like that. And then you can actually have your sand come over and connect and voila now we worked in sand to the cyan a little bit uh, but I keep, why do i keep saying cyan it's not cyan all right and now let's finish working on the roof so the roof should be pretty easy self-explanatory at this point because we've done a lot with it basically you're just continuing your design of everything so let me make sure i get everything next to each other that we might need uh, we might need our quartz slabs, so let's take these back out. And now, just continue with the theme. So, even when you get to here, just extend your slab all the way out to the other wall. So, just stop it there. Not really that big of a deal. And then, just use your cobblestone stairs to uh, finish off this garage roof. Now, it will go a little bit higher than the wall that we've made. Again, not that big of a deal because it will actually connect with the upper part of the main roof, which is, again, something that we kind of want. So not that big of a deal. As you can see, we're already above the wall, and we still have one more or two more blocks to go. And perfect. We're going to stop that one there for now. Okay, now let's start expanding everything else. So this one, we can just start expanding the... Uh, what am I thinking of? Do, do, do. I can't think of anything. Like, don't you hate that? Like, all the words you think of, you can't think of, like, when you need them. I'm having that, like, right now. All right, and then let's turn this one. Jax. My God. Sometimes I really wish I could just lock him out of the room, but then he's even louder than usual. Okay, so when we get to this one, what we're going to do, we're actually going to turn it. And just like what we did with that one down here, we could even get rid of that one. To kind of make it look like a finished look. And just do the exact same thing. So there we go. It kind of finishes off that. And then just come back around. Jax, get off. Okay. Got him off my desk. I'm, worried about, I'm just so worried about him turning off my Xbox. Because he's done it so many times. Alright. And that's for basically for this roof. It's basically just outlining everything. Besides when you get to this right here. So... Jax, get off. Ugh. I'm going to lock you out of the room and just lock you in the bathroom for now. Alright, so we might need our light blue again to add our overhang. So the overhang goes here. And just like what we did in the front, you're just going to do here. Let me save just in case he does. Okay, there's that. Ugh. Jax, get off and stay off. Okay, <laughs> man, sorry guys, he's just really interrupting me every time I'm trying to talk. Okay, so is that where we want the overhang? Let's make sure it's even, like how we did on the front. Uh, do we even do the same thing on the front? 
basically, I think, yeah. Because if the overhang was right here. So we should, we actually might be good. Let's just make sure. Yep, so we are good. And just, oh my goodness, just doing everything wrong. It's one of those days. Okay, there we go. Everything worked out perfectly there. Let's take our stone stairs and just add our stair step design. Do, 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 do. You know, I like the, I've, I think I've gotten a lot better with roofs and designing stuff like that. Just like a lot of practice and still a lot of people ask me like, how do you get your designs and stuff like that? Well, a lot of these designs recently have been inspiration from a server I've been on uh, that they are amazing builders. They actually have one of the most realistic cities I've ever seen, if not the, if not the most realistic city. And yeah, I talked to the owner and he said I could use some of his designs. And so I have been because what just happened? Are you serious? My game just crashed. All right. Well, I think that's a good stopping point for this part, I guess. So in next part, we will finish up the uh, outside and get started on the interior. So, bye-bye, guys, and thank you for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.